Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how you graph a linear equation. This is a really common question and something that comes up a lot in all kinds of algebra and classes. Um, so a linear equation has a couple of different forms and the most common is slope intercept form. This is called slope intercept form. It's called that because it has the, uh, the slope right here, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. That is where it crosses the y-axis. Um, so for starters, let's just try an example. Uh, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 4. And uh, my slope is also, think of that as rise over run. It's rise over run, how much you go up and down over how much you go left and right. Uh, that is going to be negative 3 over 2. It also could be 3 over negative 2. It makes no difference. I tend to like to put the negative on top, but this is down 3, right 2, down 3, right 2, or up 3, and left 2. Either one of those will work, um, so it's your choice. And my y-intercept is the point 0 comma 4. That's, and I'll draw that on a piece of uh, graph here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Count out some more tick marks here. So my first point is going to be the y-intercept, which is 0 and 4. <clears throat> That's right here. And then I'm going to do my slope down 3, right 2. Go down 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2. And we're going to draw my line with those two points. So that's a linear equation, just straight line. It looks should look straighter than that, but there we go. Good enough. Um, so let's do it one more. We'll do y equals uh, 5x minus 3. This time, the slope is 5. I'm going to write that as 5 over 1, where that's the rise of 5 and the run of 1. And the y-intercept is going to be negative 3, or you could say 0, negative 3. Let's draw this. So we'll start at negative 3. That is my y-intercept. You always want to start at a point and then use your slope to get a, another point. Um, my rise is 5 over 1. I want to add, need to add some more tick marks here. So we'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. And then we're going to drive my line through both points. Just like that. It's a slope of 5, so it's pretty steep. This is 1 and this is 2. This is the point 1, 2 if you needed to know that. Uh, so that's slope-intercept form. I want to show you one more form called standard form. Standard form. <clears throat> that is uh, a number times x plus a number times y equals a number. And it looks kind of confusing, but let's just make up an example. How about 5x uh, plus 2y? Uh, equals equals 10. We'll kind of make this one easy to start out with. Um, so there's two options. One is you can convert this to uh, slope-intercept form by solving this for y. So I'm going to do that one first. That means we want to get y by itself, so I'm going to start by taking away 5x. 2y equals minus 5x plus 10. And then uh, next, I'll get y by itself. This is 2 times y, so we undo it by dividing everything by 2. And we get y equals negative 5 over 2x plus 5. And you can graph that. Start at the y-intercept, which is 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. You call that 0, comma 5 right there. This is my y-intercept. And this is the slope. So with my slope, I'm going to go down 5, right 2. So down 
one, two, three, four, five, right, one, two. So my line's gonna look like this. So again, uh, I solved for y, converted this to slope intercept form, graphed my y intercept, used my slope to get a second point. I'm gonna do this problem one more time and we'll be done. Uh, there's one other way you can do a standard form equation. Uh, 5x plus 2y equals 10. <clears throat> Start with that. Um, what you can do is you can ask to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And uh, what I know about any graph is if I'm on the x-axis right here, if I'm on the x-axis looking for an x-intercept, the y is always 0. <clears throat> and then if I'm on the y-axis looking for a place where we cross the y-axis, a y-intercept, then the x is always 0. So if you know that, you took 0 and you stuck it in right here um, and asked what would x have to be, 5 times what makes 10, that would be 2. That's my x-intercept is 2 comma 0. For my y-intercept, if I did this, if I put 0 in for for uh, for x, cancel that out and said 2 times something equals 10, that would be um, 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. So what you could have done is just found your x-intercept and your y-intercept, plot of those points, you've got the exact same line. So anyway, those are two forms of a linear equation and how to graph them. I really hope this helps you out a lot. Uh, if you have other issues, uh, comment or look at my other videos. And I hope that you, uh, you get this issue resolved and, and understand it. Thanks.